Good morning scholars. Today we are going to be continuing with some math. So we are going to learn something brand new today so it's super super exciting but first we're going to do just a quick fluency activity that's going to get our minds working and ready to learn something brand new. So in our previous video we learned about how um, how we add one more. All right, so if you look at the dots, we're first going to look at this. So just take a few seconds and tell me how many dots do we see? Very good, so we have three. So now we're going to say one more. So what is one more than three? Four. Very good. So we should have four. So one more than three is four. All right, let's look at the second set of dots. So we see four dots here. What is one more than four? Very good. Five is one more than four. Then we're going to look at this one. We have one dot. What is one more than one? Awesome. Two is one more than one. And our very last uh, piece of our fluency here, just to get our minds working. What is one more than five? Very good. Six is one more than five. All right, so friends, today we are going to be learning something brand new, as I mentioned in the start, at the start of this video. So, today our objective is to count 10 objects within counts of 10 to 20 objects and describe as 10 ones and blank ones. Okay, so what that means is we're going to look at a set of objects. Now, as you can see on my camera, I have some cubes. First, we are going to count 10, okay? So let's count 10 all together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I have ten up here. So I have ten ones. I have ten ones up there because I have ten cubes. And then you're going to look at the rest of the cubes. How many ones do we have here? One, two, three, four. So I have ten ones. You can stack these all together. Okay, so I have 10 ones and four ones. So I have 10 up there and I have four down here. So if we count them all together, I know I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have 14 total cubes, but we broke it down into a group of 10 and then we had four individual cubes here. All right, friends, so we are going to go on to our homework now. Okay, so your paper should look just like mine. So let's first count or read our directions. Touch and count 
10 things. Put a check over each one as you count 10 things. Now, if you can't do a check mark, then just do a little dot on it, just so you can see that they're uh, marked. Okay, so touch and count 10 things. Put a check over each one as you count 10 things. So, we're going to look at this first box with the rubber duckies. So, we're going to count them as I put a check on them. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, I've put ten check marks over my ten ducks. So, this says I have ten ones. And how many ducks do I have left over that do not have check marks on them? I'll give you just a few seconds. Awesome. So I heard one of my friends say three. So this says I have ten ones and, as we said, three ones. Okay? Now, you are going to do this for the rest of them. You're going to do it for the piggy banks, the uh, Christmas gifts, and the cups of water there. Now, if you need any help, make sure that you ask. And scholars, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we hope to see you soon. Goodbye, friends.